Hi, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can post your resume using the following link. We will do the needful to find out the right job based on your skill set. I am going to explain you few few important Java interpretations. What is synchronization? Synchronization is a mechanism that ensures that only one thread is accessed the resource at any point of time. So, for example, a single thread can access only a single method at a, s a given point of time. Okay, so synchronization is a mechanism that ensures only one thread will enter a single method and does some complex operations or whatever it is. Okay, so why do we need that? Uh, if if we don't have synchronization, multiple threads can enter a single method at any point of time and mess up the data. So we are going to so we are going to prevent that. Okay, so synchronization helps in multi-threaded applications. What is deadlock? When two threads are waiting each other and can't proceed forward further the program is said to be deadlock so the one thread is waiting for the other one the other thread is waiting for the the previous one for example there are two threads a and b and a thread is waiting for b and b thread is waiting for a so this is where the deadlock happens okay so th third question what is the difference between set and list set stores element in an unordered way but does not contain duplicate elements whereas list stores elements in an ordered way but may contain duplicate elements the last question what is what is serialization and deserialization serialization is the process of writing a state of an object into a byte stream serialization is a process of writing the state of a object to a byte stream deserialization is the process of restoring these objects okay so what exactly it means when you have a class called employee say he has employee id and the department okay these are the two states in a for a given object so you want if you want to store this two state of an object in a flat file or database or if you want to send through a wire okay that's where the serialization comes into picture so when i say uh, socket program if you're writing a socket program you are sending an object employee object to the other application that's where serialization is comes into picture so i'm going to explain again serialization is the process of writing the state of an object to a byte stream okay 1010 uh, okay byte stream and then it it will be converted into 10 and it will be sent through wire okay see deserialization is the process of restoring these objects whenever i read from a file it becomes an appropriate object in inside my application Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. Thank you for watching this video and all the best for your interview. This video is from interview.com, a job portal. Thank you.